But basically keeping those four things as high as you can just guarantees you more quality work down the road. Good morning. I thought I'd share with you the insanity I have to embrace as far as, uh, you know, being a new truck driver, being a new owner operator. What's it like for me? You know, what, what do my days look like? So, you know, woke up this morning, got the kids to school, just got back. It's about 8.30 in the morning and, uh, you know, every day I wake up, I'm basically unemployed. It's on me to go out and find work that I want to do. And, uh, and uh, you know, today's a perfect example. I woke up, had nothing on the books, uh, had some obligations around the house here, still kind of dealing with the flood. I uh, got, got a field day event at my son's school and uh, you know, I had some obligations I wanted to take care of so I really wasn't even interested in finding you know, any sort of work until possibly like later this afternoon or tonight see what's out there and I uh, got a call this morning, 7.15 uh, in the morning from Amazon offering me that, uh, that move the trailer job. I, I believe that the technical term for it is a holster. I'm, I'm moving trailers around their yard. I asked them what time it started, they said 9 p.m. It's a 10 hour shift, pays $1,000. I'm like, yep, sign me up. Yeah, I could make a thousand dollars driving to you know Vegas or to Phoenix or something like that. But then you know I'm also at the fuel of, of running over there, and that thousand dollars is quickly going to turn in, especially with the price of diesel today. That thousand dollars is quickly going to turn into like six hundred and fifty to seven hundred dollars plus all the wear and tear on the truck, my time. Um, you know now I'm a, some distance away from home. I need to get back. Thousand um, dollars to run trailers around a yard. That's an easy yes. 3.18 a.m. Am I tired? Yeah, I'm tired. Uh, yesterday turned out great though. I mean, woke up, was technically unemployed. This job came along, I mean, like a lot of days. I, you know, I, I, I don't start looking until it's time, until I'm, until I'm ready. And, uh, you know, this job presented itself to me yesterday morning. And uh, of course I said, yes. I mean, yeah, this is, uh, they're working me a little harder tonight. You know, last time I was down here, I think for all 10 hours, I think I moved a total of seven trailers. Tonight I've moved 10, but, uh, you know, got everything I needed to get done yesterday. I mean, the plumbers being at the house, the field day with my son, got both kids from school, dinner with the family, showered got the hair braided um, yeah it put in work on the bike and uh you know here i am i'm just enjoying this enjoying this time and uh got some downtime right now just playing video games watching tv the thing i'll say about amazon is this and i'm speaking to the new person basically i'm speaking to myself the better performance you give to them the more jobs uh, they will offer to you. So in other words, like when I first started, I just had access to the load board. Well, then my, my, my metrics with them turned out all right. And then they allowed me what is called early access, which basically means that I can see the jobs, I think slightly before other people. And then recently my, my, my metrics were at a level where they allowed me, you know, early access to contracts, which is like, you know, do I want to do this for a week at a time or two weeks at a time, three weeks, on and on and on and so forth. So, you know, they, they do they do grade you on these four things. They're pretty simple to keep on top of. I mean, I've been given metrics in my life, uh, different jobs that there's no way I was ever going to meet. But, uh, you know, these are pretty easy to accept. Uh, one of them is, you know, are you on time? You know, if they tell you to be there at eight and you show up, you know, they'll even take you an hour early, but basically just don't be late so there's on time the next thing there is is acceptance once you you know accept a load you can't really reject it within a certain amount of time like if if it's two weeks out and you reject it I don't know what if any you're, if any trouble you're gonna get into for that but you know if you have a load that you signed up for and you're due to pick it up in like two hours and you reject it that is gonna hurt your score um, they do grade you on app usage so in other words uh, you know they everything is app you you sign up through the app you show up at the guard shack you get a little QR kit QR code everything's geofence so you know when I pull into an Amazon lot my phone knows that I'm there they know that I'm there and a little QR code shows up on my phone for the guard to scan and so app usage is huge be sure your phone's charged going in you don't want your phone to die and uh, be on Amazon property and, and not be using the app and uh, last but not least is they they grade you on disruption free service so in other words that's not for me disruption free service is a uh, you know, you know, you you're now on a load. You have one of their trailers hooked to you, and you know what, what type of problems, if any, do come up. So you know, if if, if you have issues with one of their trailers, that's going to hurt that portion of your score. But basically, keeping those four things as high as you can just guarantees you more quality work down the road. All right, so shift at Amazon is done.